last year we sort of kited this new spot and it's around this time that it gets pretty good. So I had my eye on it for a while. I saw the forecast and just sort of said, hey, look, get on the plane now. And Yeah, I got a message from Ryland saying it was looking pretty good. So I thought we'd give it a go and see how it went. I spoke to Cam, who I was with over there, Cam Press, and uh, we decided it would be worth coming over to the West Coast. Like, re realistically, it's probably like the most, one of the most perfect waves for kite surfing because the wind is like the perfect direction. Like, you're out in the ocean, not near, well, you're sort of near rocks, but I mean, you're at least a safe sort of distance away. And you have all the time in the world, really, to try and line it up and get in the right spot and get barreled. You get barreled and you come straight back out again. When we first looked at it, it was looking all right. It was a bit inconsistent, but there was definitely, definitely some good ones. And so we thought we'd hit it. The wind was, wind was filling in pretty good, and it got pretty windy pretty fast. So we got out there and had a go. I, I guess it kind of went all right for a bit. We got a few waves, and then I guess I was the first one to, to sort of drop my kite and go over the falls. And from then on, it just got worse. I'm a beast Yeah, I'm an animal Why the fuck is so off I'm a boy Yeah, be so special Take a lap Pretty lucky he still got his kite really. He went down and um, sort of got sucked around a big bomby in the middle of the bay. And it's just evil rock, it's got barnacles and that. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't pick it up and drag it in, but I could drag it enough out the back that the ski come and grabbed it and, and took it in and grabbed him on the way. And Dale caught about three or four waves and then copped like a good four or six footer on the back of the head and popped his shoulder out when he hit the bottom. Yeah, he just couldn't get on the ski because he had his shoulder was stuffed. In the meantime, trying to get him on the ski, the set came out of nowhere and sort of annihilated the ski. And Dale just had a bit of mishap and put his shoulder out. Three people on the ski is a bit tippy, so I went back in the beach and dropped Toby off and come back out and picked Dale up as I was picking him up. And a bit sideways and set, set come through and cleaned us up. This huge set came through and just washed it like right up onto the rock. Pretty concerned about Cam because he was in uh, so much water moving and he was in a pretty dangerous spot like right in front of the rock. So I saw Dale still on his board after I sort of caught a bit of a wave. He's like, oh my, my shoulder's screwed, I can't use my shoulder. And, I was, and, I, and then I saw Cam a bit further in and he was sort of in a real bad impact zone and he didn't have a board and he wasn't really floating, it didn't look like he was doing too good. So I, I went in and said like, oh, what, what's happening? He's like, ski's gone, man. I don't know where, I don't know where it is. Like, I pulled Cam straight in. I was, I was so powered, I just pulled him in. Like, we pretty much surfed the wave in with him just hanging onto my back. And then I turned back around to go get Dale because I thought he'd probably be in a pretty bad spot by then. By the time I got back out, he was like in front of pretty much like the rock bomby just waiting to get destroyed. I gave him my, le I detached my leash and gave it to him that was connected to my harness and pulled him just around the side of the rocks.
I got pretty lucky and managed to get out of it, but one written off ski, one dislocated shoulder, a few a few kites got lucky, but one torn kite and we're all here now, so I guess it turned out alright.